I'm Chef Riz, and I'm fucking hungry. And today, I'm doing a bacon wrap meatloaf, and you motherfuckers, you're coming with me. So let's go. So I had a request from a subscriber a few weeks ago to do a meatloaf. So this is for you, Melamood76. Check it out. So we gotta get this meatloaf mixture tasting and looking beautiful. So the first thing we're gonna start off doing is getting some red bell peppers diced up and ready to saute off. To make things easy for you, always think about what you could be doing at the same time. So for example, I'm chopping my peppers and onions, but I have the oil heating up in the back, I got the oven heated up to 350, I got all my spices and seasonings that I need out. Organization, one of the keys to success. So along with the red bell pepper, we're going to do some onion. After you have your peppers and onions diced up, you're going to take them and throw them in some, some hot oil and saute them up. Some fresh chopped up garlic. If you want this meatloaf to taste good, you gotta put love into it. You're not gonna throw these raw, fucking crunched up, fucking flavorless peppers and onions into the mix. Saute them. We season these fucks up with a little bit of salt and fresh ground black pepper. Now we're gonna cook these down until they're looking fucking beautiful. All right, let's go. Ground beef, a little bit of ground pork. You can't just have all beef. You need to mix in the pork. It gives it just an extra taste. Uh, just take my word on it. Little salt, little black ground pepper. Some whiskey. Some ketchup. Some of that sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. One egg and some breadcrumb. Breadcrumb is to bind the meat together with all the wet ingredients. And last but not least, those beautiful sexy peppers and onions that you sauteed up. Now mix that shit together and incorporate it up. If the mix feels too loose, add some more breadcrumb as you go. Always can add, you can never take back, so do not put too much in at a time. So on a sheet of tin foil, I'm molding out the meatloaf. You want to smack it around a little bit, compress it, make sure there's no bubbles, make sure there's no air sockets in the meatloaf. Make sure it's compressed and firm so it cooks evenly and thoroughly throughout. So now for the bacon. You're going to take the bacon and evenly lay it on the back of the meatloaf without overlapping the pieces. If you start to overlap the pieces, they will not properly cook, they will get soggy, and you will not have that nice crunchy bacon on the outside. You're going to tuck in the sides, make it nice and snug so it holds it all together. Now we're going to glaze and sweeten up the bacon. Just a little bit of ketchup, some of that sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. We're going to mix it and we're going to rub it evenly on top of the bacon. Now some thin sliced onion, some more ground black pepper on top, and you're fucking ready to bake away. 350 degrees, about one hour, or until the bacon's nice and crispy and looking beautiful. So this is about an hour into it. I put it in for about 15 more minutes to get a little more crunchy and then I took it out. This was the final product. One hell of a good looking fucking meatloaf. Still sizzling in the pan. So total cook time, 75 minutes at 350 degrees and I got this perfection right here. Before you cut, butcher, and destroy this beautiful thing, let it sit for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Let the temperature come down. Let the juices absorb back into the meat. You cut it right away, the juices are going to leak out. It's going to be fucking destroyed. It's going to be dry, and it's going to be a fucking waste of your time. Take my word on it. 
I just want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. We're almost up to 50 subscribers, so leave a fucking comment, say what's up, share the fucking video, and enjoy your fucking evening. Later. When you open your heart to patriotism, there is no room for prejudice. The Bible tells us how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. We must speak our minds openly, debate our disagreements honestly, but always pursue solidarity. When America is united, America is totally unstoppable. No fear. We are protected, and we will always be protected. We will be protected by the great men and women of our military and law enforcement. And most importantly, we will be protected by God.